Hello everyone. Welcome to the video on crystal oscillator. What is crystal oscillator? Crystals which possess the concept of piezoelectric effect acts as oscillators. What is the concept of piezoelectric effect? Yes. Take a crystal. This is the symbolic representation of a crystal. If you apply a force like this, apply a force, then the crystal will vibrate. And if you connect a voltmeter across this, and if you keep that voltmeter in AC mode, then it reads a voltage. Means, the crystal, when it is in vibrations, will produce a voltage, an AC voltage. Okay? So, what is totally piezoelectric effect? Take a crystal, apply a force, then that force will create mechanical vibrations in the crystal and those mechanical vibrations will produce an AC voltage. Yes. What is the inverse of this piezoelectric effect? Inverse effect is, apply a voltage. Okay, actually this is the crystal. Now take crystal and apply a voltage. Okay, apply a C voltage which has some frequency F. Then the crystal will undergo some mechanical deformations. Or we can say the crystal will undergo again mechanical vibrations. Okay, and those vibrations are also with some frequency. Not... Uh, those vibrations are not random vibrations and those vibrations are with some frequency. That is nothing but the frequency of your applied signal. When your crystal is moving in that way, means when it is vibrating with a frequency, then also it will generate a voltage across it. That voltage is having the frequency of the applied frequency. Fine? So that is called inverse piezoelectric effect. In our crystal oscillator concept, this is the concept used to produce oscillations. Okay. So, what is the concept here? Apply a AC voltage for crystal. Then the crystal will vibrate with a frequency of your applied frequency. And when the crystal is vibrating in that fashion, it automatically produces an AC voltage across it whose frequency is nothing but your applied signal frequency. Okay. So, this is the concept or this is the working principle for crystal oscillator. Yes, what are different crystals which are having the concept of piezoelectric effect? There are mainly three types of crystals uh, which have piezoelectric effect property. The three crystals are, first one is Rochel salt, second is tourmaline and the third is quartz. Okay. Coming to the properties of these three, Rochel salt is having high piezoelectric effect, okay, but mechanically weak, okay. Though it is having high piezoelectric effect, it is not preferred as oscillator because it is mechanically weak. What happens when it is mechanically weak? It may break at some point. Okay. Then coming to the tourmaline. Tourmaline is having less piezoelectric effect but mechanically strong. And the third point is expensive. Tourmaline is expensive. So because of those two reasons, the main one is expensive and the second one is less piezoelectric effect. It is also not considered as oscillator. Then coming to the quartz. Quartz is having yes, moderate piezoelectric effect okay, and easily available. Naturally available crystal and the third one, less expensive as it is easily available. Less expensive. Because of these three reasons, quartz is used as oscillator. 
then why we are going for this crystal oscillator? We have seen many oscillators like RC oscillators and LC oscillators. Means RC phase shift oscillator, Bain bridge oscillator, Hartley oscillator, Colpitt's oscillator. But why we are going for crystal oscillator? Because yes, those RC oscillators and LC oscillators are not stable. Whenever there is change in temperature, yes, the property of generating the waveform will change. Means they can't generate a constant waveform whenever there is change in temperature. Okay. So, uh, and the second point is whenever there is change in parameters of the transistor also, they can't generate a stable waveform. And the third, and whenever there is change in power supply, okay, there exists up and downs in power supply. So, whenever there is change in power supply, automatically they can't generate a stable waveform. These three are the main disadvantages for RC oscillators and LC oscillators. They can't generate stable waveform if there are all these changes. So, we are going for crystal oscillator. Means, crystal oscillator is a very stable oscillator. Okay. So, it is a stable oscillator. Why the stability is more for crystal oscillator? Because for the crystal oscillator, quality factor is high. The term quality factor as represented by Q and the formula is omega L by R. The quality factor of the crystal is I. Yeah. What is the value of quality factor? It is 10,000 to 20,000 and even more also. So, as the quality factor is high, it has more stability. The quality factor of all other oscillators is less. That is the reason they are not stable. Okay. Then, we yes, what are the applications of this crystal oscillator? Yes, see this, these are the applications. This is used in radio and telecommunications and digital circuits as clock and in smartphones, computers, microcontrollers to generate a clock and in watches for setting the time. All these are the applications of the crystal oscillator. Okay, and if you read all these uh, applications, we need a clock which is very stable, which must be stable. Then only all these circuits or all these devices will work in sync. Okay, then coming to the uh, symbol or equivalent circuit of the crystal oscillator. Yes, the symbol of the crystal oscillator is, this is the crystal slab. And is connected between two mounting plates. Okay. So, this is crystal and these are, this and this are mounting plates. Now, coming to the equivalent circuit. Yes. So, yes, this is the equivalent circuit of the crystal. Yes, the equivalent circuit consists of two arms. In one arm, there is a capacitance called CM and in the other arm, there are three components in series RLC. Okay. Yes. What is, yes, how to interpret this in equivalent circuit? When the crystal oscillator is in stable condition, means when it is not in vibrating condition, if you see the crystal, it is like a capacitor arrangement because this, these two are the mounting plates, which are nothing but uh, metallic plates and these two are separated by a distance. And that distance is filled with the crystal material. Okay. So, now you can take these two as metallic plates and this as dielectric media. So, that is the reason it totally like a capacitor called mounting capacitance. Okay. Fine. Same way. Well, the crystal is vibrating. When it vibrates, when you apply a voltage, remember that voltage, it may be AC or DC. But when you apply a voltage, it will vibrate. And it will vibrate. When you apply a AC signal, it vibrates with the frequency same as that of your applied AC frequency. Or when you apply a DC to the crystal, again it will vibrate but with certain frequency. Okay. Yes. Totally. What it may be? It may be AC voltage or it may be DC voltage. It will vibrate with certain frequency and it will generate a signal, AC signal. Yes. Whose frequency is same as the applied signal frequency or I can say 
is it has some particular frequency which is nothing but frequency of oscillations. Is what the crystal is vibrating. These three elements are equivalents of the crystal. Okay, when it is in vibrating, the equivalent resistance is represented by R, equivalent inductance is represented by L, and equivalent capacitance is represented by C. Okay. Then what it is actually? Is this R represents the frictional losses of the crystal when it is vibrating and this L represents the mass of the crystal when it is vibrating and the C represents the stiffness of the crystal when it is vibrating. Okay. Yes. So totally this is uh, the equivalent circuit of the crystal. Even if you see the crystal is nothing but a tank circuit. Okay. You know when you apply a voltage to the tank circuit automatically it will generate a basic signal. Okay, so you can take that concept, even you can take that concept also. Okay, so whenever you apply the voltage, the crystal vibrates. Okay, and what is the equivalent circuit of the crystal? This is the equivalent circuit. Then I said it vibrates with a the frequency. Then the same frequency can be connected here as a resonant frequency. Okay, so fine. Now I will see about the resonant frequency. It will generate an AC waveform whenever it whenever there is resonance. And here we have two types of resonance. Yes, because the total, if you consider the total circuit, it is like a parallel RLC circuit. So I get a parallel resonant frequency means the circuit. The crystal will generate a waveform with a frequency called parallel resonant frequency Fp. The formula is 1 by 2 pi root L into C equivalent. Where C equivalent is C Cm by C plus Cm. Okay? Yes. Or when you consider only this part. When your circuit undergoes only the resonance with this part. Then also you are going to get the waveform. That resonant frequency is called, yes, series resonant frequency. What is this? This is called parallel resonant frequency and this is called series resonant frequency. Okay. What is the series resonant frequency formula? 1 by 2 pi root LC. Okay. So, circuit will generate a waveform or the crystal oscillator will generate a waveform at two frequencies. Okay, it can generate the waveform at parallel resonant frequency or it can generate the waveform at series resonant frequency. Fine. Now, if you plot uh, that graph between the resonant frequencies and the impedance, it is like this. Yes, this is the graph called impedance curve, on x-axis it is the frequency and on y-axis it is j. Okay, when the resonant frequency is fs, what will happen? At fs, if you see the impedance, it is minimum. Okay, it is minimum. Mod j is minimum. Okay, and at that time, your xl is equal to xc. XL is equal to XC. And at FP, mod Z is maximum. S is maximum. And now here, XL plus XC is XCM. The reactance of this series part is equal to the reactance of this part. Okay. So, that frequency, at that point of frequency is called parallel resonant frequency. Okay. So, always your parallel resonant frequency is more than the series resonant frequency. Okay. You understood. First thing, you are, I think you understood these two frequencies. The crystal oscillator can generate a waveform either at Fs or at Fp. What is Fs? This is Fs. What is Fp? This is Fp. Fine. And these are the characteristics of the circuit at Fs and at Fp. Always Fp is greater than Fs. Fine. And there is another formula for frequency of oscillations that is F is equal to 1 by 2 pi root Nc into root Q square 
r by 1 plus q square. That is another uh, formula for frequency of oscillations in the case of crystal oscillator. 1 by 2 pi root lc root q square by 1 plus q square. What is q here? Quality factor. Yes, we know the quality factor is very high. So, when q is very high, q square is more. Okay, then you can neglect 1. Then q square and q square gets cancelled. So, you will be with only 1 by 2 pi root lc which is nothing but uh, the formula of fs. Okay, so this is the frequency in terms of the quality factor and these are the frequencies in terms of the uh, equivalent circuit elements. Right, this is about the crystal oscillator. I will show you some crystal oscillator circuits. Yes, these two are the examples of crystal oscillator. In the first circuit, yes, the crystal is used as a series resonance circuit. Okay, in this the series resonance will occur. And and the amplifier is a CE amplifier. So, this, the crystal is connected between output and input. Fine. And the crystal is at series resonance. It has less impedance. So, it allows maximum feedback. Okay. Then, coming to this. Yes, if you see the circuit, it is a call pitch oscillator. But here only C1, C2 present. L is absent. Now, the L role is played by the crystal. This, is, this acts as L. The crystal acts as L. The crystal acts as inductive. Okay. When the crystal acts as inductive, yes, when the frequency is between Fs and Fp, I have shown you that graph. When the frequency is between Fs and Fp, the crystal acts as inductive. When the crystal is inductive, so it is nothing but a Colpitt's arrangement, so I will get oscillations. Okay. So, these are the examples of the crystal oscillator. So, this completes totally the oscillator's concept. All the uh, concepts except this crystal oscillator are having only derivations. Okay. So, yes, please go through the derivations very clearly. Practice the derivations. That way you can answer in the exams in a confident way and in a perfect way. Thank you very much.